Hi guys, welcome back to Phil's Craft Corner and today I am making this slate coaster. The reason I'm making this slate coaster is I was having a tidy up the other day and I found another two of these and what I wanted to do is I wanted to give these away, one on my Facebook, one on my Instagram and one here on YouTube, uh, just to somebody that you guys are going to nominate. Uh, basically somebody that you feel has done an amazing job during the whole pandemic they've worked their backside off and not got the recognition they deserve really I'll stick details at the end of the video on how you can enter I actually made these coasters in the first lockdown I designed it and I raised money to donate to charity and the charity was to get PPE to frontline workers and NHS staff so uh, I raised about £150 making these and I sold about 80 of them. Uh, obviously I had to cover the cost of the slate and take that out of the money that I made but then the rest of the profit just went straight to the charity. But let's get into it, I'll show you how I coat the slate to give good contrast between the text and the slate itself. I'll show you what I use for that and we'll get over to the laser and then we'll engrave it and we'll be done. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do here is we need to prep this slate tile. Uh, these I get for fairly cheap, I just buy in a multi pack and break them down and just sell them individually. To prep this I use my mixture that I have in this jar, it's just an old coffee jar that I mix it in and it is boiled linseed oil mixed with white spirits. So you mix these 50-50. Uh, I just got these at Screwfix locally. Uh, I can put a link down below for where you can get those from as well. There we go, you can see a little bit better. So I mix this jar, um, which is now about half full, uh, about six to eight months ago. I've done about 200 of these slates and used half of this. You don't use a lot at all. I just apply it with a rag, a lint-free rag if you can just to stop any little bits of the cloth coming off on the rough sides and things like that. Quick tip, if you're going to mix this in a coffee pot, don't use one of these coffee pots like I did with this rubber seal because the stuff gets right around the edge and it just seals it shut and you need to use a knife to open it. Just a tiny little dab on the end doesn't need to be that wet at all. So I'm going to do the bottom first just so I can flip it over and as you can see it spreads really well and just use the other side to dry it a little bit just so it's not saturated and sitting on there it does soak in a bit so don't worry too much but you don't especially on the bottom uh, but on the top you don't want a super thick layer, otherwise the laser is going to get through. Uh, it's going to struggle to get through. Which is why we mix it 50-50 with the white spirits, just to thin it down and help it dry a little bit quicker. I'll just squash it right into those jaggedy edges. This is a bit where you probably feel like you're running out because it doesn't really get into those edges that much. It's not super, super important. Just try and do your best. And then the rest, we'll put a nice thin layer across the top. And again, we'll get the other side and we'll just dry off the excess. I don't worry about drying these sides because nothing is going on there at all. As you can see, you get a nice, even coat on there. Quickly go over the back where I've been touching. And that's good. So we'll leave that for about an hour to an hour and a half just to dry. Because if you do it while it's wet, the laser kind of just, it just absorbs the laser's power. And you end up with like a very faint image on there. It kind of protects the slate more when it's wet. So you need to wait for it to dry and uh, then you can go from there. Another tip, as soon as you're finished, clean off your cloth as best you can. Uh, I have used this a lot, so I've used it for about 200 slates now in total. Um, 
just make sure you clean it as best you can because if you don't then the boil linseed is going to dry in the cloth and it's just going to go brittle and you can't use it anymore. Alright guys so this is now nice and dry, uh, you can, it's still got a nice shine to it which is what the uh, linseed oil does and it's nice and even so we're going to take it over to the laser, we're going to engrave on it and uh, it's going to be good. Alright guys so we're over at the laser, I have my coaster template set up in my laser bed uh, this just helps me line up multiple coasters at the same time it just makes it a little bit quicker and uh, I'll probably do a video on how to make one of these templates in the future I have my machine set at 250 millimeters a second at 30% power Alright guys, so that is the slate done. So, to win this slate, all you need to do is leave a comment down below on who you think deserves this. Just give them a good shout out to any recognition that you want to give them, basically, for being an amazing person during this pandemic. You must also be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram uh, just to enter into there as always guys thanks for watching nearly at 500 subscribers absolutely amazing can't believe that we're nearly there can't believe how much we've grown since march so it's almost a year but uh i, I never thought i'd get this big i never thought i'd make so many videos i never thought so many people would be watching them so thank you everybody for liking for subscribing for leaving a comment all of that just makes me want to make more videos and bring you more content. Uh, speaking of content, I have two new videos coming up. Uh, one is uh, Swastik Designs have sent me another design. Uh, they've sent me uh, it's a guitar. Uh, this thing should be 30 inches long, which is quite big, but my machine is only 20 inches, so I'm just going to make it to fit on my machine. It looks absolutely amazing. I've just seen a preview of it, and I can't wait to get that done. The second video that I'm going to be doing this week is how to increase your engraving speed. As always, there's a link down below to if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, just, just to help me carry on and make some more videos, basically. Uh, so if you want to do that, I'll be very, very grateful. Links down below to absolutely everything that I used in this video. I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.